Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, beautiful people. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm sure by now we all have seen the interview where Megan Thee Stallion sat down with Gil King to detail the alleged shooting incident that happened in July 2020. I'm shocked how it's almost been two years since we all have been trying to piece together what the heck happened that night. To be honest, y'all, I'm tired of this story. I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of seeing and reading about it. And I just cannot wait till it's over with. Till the truth be put out. So, we're going to look into this interview. We're going to look into her reasoning of why she did it. And we're going to look into each individual feelings about the interview. I always say that my readers are for entertainment purposes only. And it, it may not resonate with you all. Spirit, thank you. Why did Megan P do this interview, Spirit, with Gail King? Why did she do this interview? I think I, we got the justice card. I think she wanted to get her truth out. What she sees is the truth. Show me, Spirit. She wants this burden lifted off of her. Because basically everybody's been on her, been saying that she has not been truthful, and she wants to turn the tables around. She wants to be back the victim. This her world is upside down, and she wants to turn it around by how turn it back to how it was in the beginning. How she was again uh Flowers, Beyonce, how everybody is calling, telling her how sorry they are, how they just demonized Tori. She want that back. She want things back her way. Spirit, you do this interview with Gail King. Spirit, show me why did she do this interview? Thank you, Spirit. She wants the world back in her favor. She wants to turn things around. Let me see what we'll see. What came up? The Nine of Swords in reverse. Issues or problems have been ignored rather than dealt with. Things have been uncomfortable and there is at times total despair. Someone has no insight into how to deal with their emo their emotions or problems. Something happened in the past and someone is unable to let it go. This person is committed to their own viewpoint and unwilling to bend. Basically, this person is sticking by their side, by their truth. This is someone that justifies their bad behavior by the belief that everybody is out to get them. This person has a victim mentality and they believe everyone is treating them unfairly. There's a lack of self-awareness and this person is not questioning their own motives. They are hypocritical take no responsibility this person is confused most of the time and when it comes to facts it seems like that they twist the facts all up they twist the facts around I want to say that I am going off the energy of this reading I am not being biased I am not inserting my opinion I'm going off the energy. Someone is focusing on their emotions. Which is fear and sadness. And fear and sadness has become normal for them. There is a fear of something changing. There is a need for someone or something um, one can hold on to. 
this person, they took a deep look into who they really are. And they want to stabilize their emotions after holding on to something selfishly. They held on to this selfishly out of self-interest. It's like everything revolves around this person. They they make they make everything revolve around them. It's it got to be all about them. This person is they are being cautious and they try to avoid risk. Overall, someone took a good look at what's wrong in their life. Or self-caused negativity. They look, took a good look at this negativity that is going on. Which is, there, there's theft, corruption, and blackmailing that is going on. And someone, they want to try to clean things up. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, thank you. Why... Spirit, was Megan, Megan Pete being honest on her interview with Gail Key? Was she being honest on her interview with Gail Key? There's some things that she is trying to clean up. Some things that she is trying to avoid. There's some things she's trying to avoid. Was Megan being honest on her interview with Gail Key? Nope. But this chair ain't in reverse. Somebody had moved recklessly and they are trying to they trying to clean up. Show me spirit. Was Megan Pete being honest on her interview with Gail King? Oh my god, car is flying out. This energy is heavy, y'all. Nine of Cups in reverse. A person is not going to get what they wish for. Family and friendships have fallen apart. There are disintegration and separation due to a person's lifestyle choice. Uh, there's a, with these cups here. I feel like there's just a lot of overindulgence and alcohol and drugs could be indicated too. This person abundance is ruined ruined by foolish behavior. We see doing shuffling the chariot in reverse. This person was reckless. Happiness, happiness has spilled out of these cups. Happiness has been spilled out of each of these cups. Pleasures have turned into pain. This person, they, they, they fill these cups up here with what makes them happy. They are living an empty life and their life might look good, but it most certainly doesn't feel good to them. They don't understand what real friendships and relationships are built on, upon. This person is insecure. Someone made a painful decision emotionally and they they have unstable affection. They are giving their self permission not to feel responsible by their actions. They don't think about the possible risk and they make solutions which is easy like a, a easy way out for themselves. Their emotions dominate their life. They are they are fearful. 
This person is fearful. This person will do anything to protect oneself in a deceitful way. Thank you, Spirit. This next question I am going to ask. Uh, I'm going to use the Lenormand. We're going to use the Lenormand. Spirit, thank you. Please show me, Spirit. How do Gail King feel about Megan? Megan, uh, Pete's story. Do she believe her spirit? Do Gail King believe her? How does Gail King feel about Megan the Stallion's story spirit? Do she believe her? How does Gail King feel spirit? Thank you, spirit. Letter. Communication. She felt like the communication was off during that night. We got the clouds in the garden. Clouds. This is like a veil that obscures something. Garden. Out in the public. Uh, things in the public eye with the garden. Clouds in garden. As a combination to deceive someone is trying to deceive the public. The appearance is deceiving. Someone presents a different persona, persona to the public than what they are in private. To be confused and insecure with the clouds in the garden. To present as insecure. To have the reputation of playing the hidden cards. Everybody is confused. There's unclear structure to admit publicly that we are confused. This is like, I don't, someone don't know where to go or what to do with the clouds and the garden combination. There's a feeling that somebody is being charismatic to the public. They present themselves one way, even though one might feel different. Someone is influenced by the media or mainstream ideals. I feel Gail feel that Megan is confused about the events that happened that night. And instead of just admitting to being confused, not knowing exactly what happened, she she's sticking to her story to protect against insecurity and to protect herself as looking looking as a deceitful person deceitful person. Someone is guiding someone else in times of confusion. She feels Megan is, is hiding something. And she's proceeding confidentially, although she is disoriented. She is actually confused about that night. Gail feel Megan's insecurities is dominating. Thank you, Spirit. Now, let's get Tori's. <laughs> let's see how Tori feels about that interview. Spirit, thank you. Please show me Tori Lane's feelings about Megan Pete's interview with Gail King. How does Tori Lane's feel about that interview, Spirit? He feel like he was done unjust. With this justice in reverse. He can't wait till his truth comes out. How does Tori Lanez feel about the Mega Pete's interview with Gail King's spirit? He's not happy with it. With this Nine of Cups in reverse, Tori's not happy with that interview at all. 
Thank you, Spirit. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This whole situation is is it, it's weighing Tori down. This whole situation is taking a toll on Tori. Someone lacks spirituality. This person, they are in need with this Five of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like they are given no chance. This person is also in debt. Their finances has dwindled a lot with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This person, they, they tire. I feel like this person also tried to to buy a friend or someone to they tried to buy someone to side with them in hopes of being accepted. That's all alleged. But this person feels lost in self-pity. And they are they are afraid of change in case things get worse for them. I'm going to describe Tory Phyllis as if as if he had an amputation, as if his leg was cut off. Physical wounds or pain from the amputation. You know what? I feel like it make no sense. Let's not describe his feelings that way, as if he had an amputation. But there's a feeling that this whole situation has it, it has taken a toll on Tori. And he feel Megan is doing all she can to continue taking a toll on him. I feel like it don't make no sense because this energy is confusing. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Yeah, I'm going to leave this energy. Let's see how Kelsey feels. Let's see how Miss Kelsey feels about that interview. Because they did reveal a text message where uh, where it's supposed to have been uh, Kelsey. I'm getting tongue tied. We're supposed to have been Kelsey texting Megan's uh, security guard, uh, Justin. And she's like, help. Uh, Tori has Tori shot Megan. This is all alleged, but that's what that text message said. Spirit, show me how does Kelsey Nicole feel about Megan Pete's interview with Gail King? There's a lot of confusion. Someone is not being honest with this two of swords in reverse. Show me, Spirit. How does Kelsey Nicole feel about Megan's interview with Gail King? Thank you, Spirit. What we got here? Oh, Queen of Swords in reverse. A ruthless woman with no compassion. She has issues with problem solving and communication. Accusations made without facts being checked. This queen rarely investigates facts. And she always jumps to the conclusions. She's cold-blooded, cold-hearted, and just harsh. She knows how to put on a show and give a convincing smile. This queen needs to figure out what, what it is she wants and how to take the appropriate actions to get it. Thank you, Spirit. This interview was negative negatively triggering for Kelsey. Something she regrets is weighing in on her. It's like, I don't know if she regrets that text, but something she regrets is weighing in on her. There's a feeling of someone, she feels like somebody is abusing their power because they are this uh, flashy artist. I feel Kelsey, she's protecting herself from aggression and any negative emotions. She's about to become a mom. She's protecting her energy. I feel she still cares for Megan. And I feel like they they had a reconciliation between the two, between Megan and Kelsey. I feel like there was a reconciliation. But Kelsey, she's still hurt. 
behind that incident, she is still hurt. Because she went to jail. Kelsey, she wants nothing to do with the situation. She wants to move on. And she's happy and she's and she's yearning for happiness. I'm going to end things here. My, my camera about to go off. Thank you guys for watching. Tune, uh, tune in for part two.